Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most compassionate. Praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and blessings and peace be on the foremost among messengers and the last of the prophets, Muhammad and his progeny and the companions all, and those who followed them sincerely and summoned the people to his message to the day of judgment. It has been a great honor for me to serve my Lord through my Tariqa, Naqshbandi, Mujadidi order to deliver the calligraphy artworks for our spiritually powerful sacred Sufi schoolhouse in London. The request from our architect Nevin Nasser, our talented in-house architect, was to initially produce a stone carving to install above the main entrance doorway and to write our three Salawat Nabi Daruts on Ahar paper to be framed as one art piece. Can you show the slide, change? I love stone. I learned to carve on stone at the Prince's School of Traditional Arts. I was lucky as it was the last time the course was in the MA syllabus. His Royal Highness used to love my Asma al Husna on the stone pebbles. That encouraged me to carry on with stone carving. And now we go to the stone piece. The two ayat chosen for the stone piece first got my attention as I was walking through the doorway at the Holy Mosque, the Masjid Nabawi in Medina. A beautiful and fitting ayat from Surah Al Hijr, chapter 15, the Quran, ayat 45 and 46. In al Muttaki Nafi Jannati Wa Uyu, Udhuluha Bisalam Amin. Meaning, while the righteous will be amid gardens and fountains of clear flowing water, enter these gardens in peace and security. When I asked our Sheikh Hadad Hamid Hassan to use this ayat, he approved it without hesitation. A perfect century, I hope, for seekers of truth, seeking the straight path to our Creator. So I set out to compose it within the space given by our architect, Nabin Nasser. I later added the two motifs at both ends as the space given me was later extended. Following the mood set by our architect, soft colors throughout, full of light. I looked for an off-white limestone, which was not going to be too difficult to cut. And that was not going to ruin my carbon tip chisels as I had to cut deeper than normal to create more shadow to make the calligraphy more visible. In Malaysia, where I come from, we do not have limestone. But by Allah's will, I managed to find one that was imported, I believe, with the correct thickness and length. MashaAllah, what a great blessing that was. So that's the installation of the finished stone with the sacred geometry round. And that's the installed doorway. Alhamdulillah. As for the three Daruts, I wrote them on handmade ahar paper and illuminated them with gouache, gold leaf, and ebru flowers. Ebru is the Turkish art of painting on water using natural pigment. Salutations to our Prophet forms an integral part of our Sufi practices. Quoting from the Quran, Surah Al Ahzab. Chapter 33, Ayat 56. Meaning, Allah and His angels send blessings on the Prophet. O oh, you who believe, send blessings on him with all respect. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, everything could not have turned out better. Safe delivery to sight was assisted by the Almighty. Installation supervised by our architect herself. 
it has been a labor of love for my Lord, for my beloved chefs, for all my beloved Sufi brothers and sisters. Thank you.